and there is three story revolve around the love lives of an adulterous woman a checkout girl and a single mother a deadly car crash set up three parallel story of women at crisis point faltering behind the door of the same plain vienna apartment block a board nurse with a stable comfortable family life has a wild but almost wordless extramarital affair with a fashion conscious traveling salesman who is obsessed with love photos unstable young austrian grocery checker lies to hold on to her philandric yugoslavian boyfriend claiming she is pregnant finally a recent divorcee whose violent ex-husband is a king of denial intent on getting her back will the resident fib and moral failure save or destroy them can the women safely express their fears the movie generated an enormous amount of suspense as it unfolded will the nurse confess to her husband Will the checkout clerk come clean about her false pregnancy? Will the divorced woman be seriously harmed by her increasingly erratic ex-husband? As the last question, it is answered in a harrowing psychological confrontation that will have you on the edge of your seat. We are just celebrity presents top high movies like Antares. Number 5 Romance Frustrated by the lack of intimacy in her relationship a young school teacher goes through a series of intimidating and often violent love partners although deeply in love with her boyfriend and indeed sleeping in the same bed with him a school teacher cannot handle the almost complete lack of intimacy he will allow Increasingly frustrated, she gradually finds her love appetite, leading her into ever more risky situations, including a developing one with the headmaster. Someone hit the proverbial nail on the head with romance. A critic wrote that it's like a bad update of an Antonioni film, and I think that's about as fair a description as one could ask for. It may also depend on how you feel already about Antonioni and his depiction of the precise lack of love or responsiveness of emotional contact in people or perhaps if you have even actually seen an Antonioni movie while Catherine Brilliant probably consider herself a thoughtful passionate filmmaker interested in passionless people and in trying to pick apart the thought of a character like Mary i have to ask after a while in a film that doesn't have antonioni stage direction or composition what's the point we have seen women like this in other movie in loveless relationship or going out to spread or fulfill their empty wishes or such with others number 4 el avenger Unsatisfied young woman decide to pursue various love experiment and scenario fed up with her present lifestyle and more particularly love dissatisfied with her fiance Fred Sandrine decide to find a new way in life intrigued by her friend Françoise who tell her about her love experiment and when she strike up a conversation In a park with stranger who discusses his philosophy of the emotional dead end that traps so many in this day and age she leaves behind her job and unfulfilling relationship with her fiance before encountering Greg a psychiatrist who is an advocate of hypnotic therapy she allow him to use his technique to help her tap into the depth of her erotic desire And when she meets Sophie, Greg's former lover, who is willing to share tell of her own love exploration, she embarks on an odyssey to embrace the outer limit of her carnal imagination. Number three, the exterminating angel. 
under the restless and penetrating eye of two silent fallen angels doomed to obey. The committed and zealous filmmaker Francois attempt to delve deep into the very essence of taboo and document the female pleasure in an experimental film about the thrill of transgression. However, unbeknownst to Francois, silky yet penetrating voice manipulate his ravenous curiosity dictating his next move. As a result, by mixing a raw childlike interest with an elegant intellectual sight, the director leaves room for erotic improvisation captured through a series of private audition and undiluted screen test. Surely Francois is not a voyeur nor poet, he is just a mortal vessel of mystical testimony. Still oblivious to the danger and repercussion of playing with fire. Suffusing the film are the fact of Jean Claude Bros' own life after the casting of his 2002 Secret Thing, during which he required the love complicity of his would be starlet for hopeful actresses, none of whom appear in the final film, accused the director of harassment. He was charged fine let off with a suspended sentence. Number 2. Anatomy of Hell A woman employs a man to spend four nights at her house to watch her when she is unwatchable. A man rescues a woman from a suicide attempt in a nightclub. Walking the street together, she proposition him she will pay him to visit her at her isolated house for four consecutive nights. There he will silently watch her. He is reluctant but agree. As the fortnight progress, they become more intimate with each other and a mutual fascination develops. By the end of the four-day contract, these two total strangers will have had a profound impact on each other. Unlike romance, where DC film even the most seen, brilliant allow her female star Amira Kaiser to use a body double in Anatomy of Hell. Sifredi's performance, however, is all his own work. His frankness, a byproduct of 20 years at the hardcore end of the business, is one reason for Sifredi's newfound status as a film festival darling. Number 1. Don't Look Down Coming of age, in Buenos Aires, Elo is on the verge of manhood. He studies physics, help with the family headstone business, and does advertising, handling out fire while walking on stilt or wearing an empanad costume. When his melancholy father died, Eloy imagined that his father visit him at night. The explanation is more pedestrian. Eloy has started sleepwalking. Things change abruptly. While sleepwalking, he falls through an open skylight into the bed of Alvira, a young woman from Barcelona visiting her grandmother. Elvira invites Eloy to become her lover and teaches him tantric love. Eloy discovers bliss. Elisio Subela has that rare quality of seeing magic in reality, of portraying it in his movies with freshness and philosophical depth. 